guys a quick tour of the place I am staying. Um, it has the best view. It is super close to the track that I'm doing tomorrow. Um, and it is just like a great little cabin. I just met the owner. He's lovely and his daughter are gorgeous. Um, so we'll start off with the bedroom. So this is the bedroom. There's me. Hey. <laughs> um, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to sleep on that tonight. All your towels and everything come with the place. And then this is like the kitchen slash living room area. TV, nice kitchen. Uh, this I believe also turns into a sofa bed. Aircon. Um, they also fully stock the kitchen. So you've got coffee, tea, sugar, butter, bread, a couple bits of fudge there, which I'm very excited for. Um, some spreads. And then in here you've got more breakfast stuff, so like you've got some honey, uh, coffee, more coffee, breakfast cereals, oats, all that stuff in there, which is excellent. Uh, this is the bathroom. Again, they provide shampoo, conditioner, body wash and that, which is really nice. It's very nice, fresh and clean. And then, the best part is the outdoor space. This is for you. And then you've got a beautiful bathtub, which I will be using tonight. So this spot cost me $168.99 Australian for the night, but that includes breakfast, um, washing, it's got a washing machine and a dryer as well, and of course the beautiful views and everything. So I reckon it's worth it and I'm super stoked to be here and I can't wait to see what it looks like at night. Um, I'll link it in the description below if you guys are looking to book it, I highly recommend. I do believe it books out quite quick because it is quite popular, but yes, it's definitely one that should be on your list. I was also just reading the welcome page and they supply you wine. Ah, no, it's a treatment. That's first class treatment. Also, they've got Disney Plus and Netflix, which is excellent. Because but that was actually the accommodation that I stayed at before I did the Puakai Hut. This day, I woke up in the Dawson Falls Visitor Centre and walked to the Wilkie's Pool. It's a really short walk to the actual pools. You can do the full loop, which is a 1.9 kilometre return. I didn't choose to do that. I just wanted to walk to the pools and see what they're all about. It's quite flat, but you are walking through some beautiful forests. I believe this is called the Goblin Forest and it is just absolutely gorgeous. The trees are just covered in like this moss and it's just such a nice ambient feel to the walk. Um, you cross a couple of swing bridges to get to the pools. This is just the swing bridge. On a clear day, you can actually see Mount Taranaki in the distance. Um, it wasn't too clear today, but it was sunny, so I was happy. The sun was out, that was all I wanted. Um, to get up to the actual little pools, you do have to do a little bit of rock scrambling. It's not too hard, there is quite a few places to put your feet and for you to hold on to. There's lovely little waterfalls and heaps of little pools that you can stop and have a little dip in. It was freezing cold though, so I probably wouldn't recommend you do it in the time I went here, but it was absolutely gorgeous. And I just sat up there for quite a while watching the cloud cover and hoping that I'll get to see the Mount Taranaki. The sun has come out. She's really trying to poke through up there. This would actually probably be like the best swimming spot in summer if it was hot. Because you would just get incredible views on a clear day. And there's heaps of little pools to plunge into. But... Look at that! Oh. I'm hoping the cloud cover goes. It looks like it's moving quite quickly and it's not hanging around the top. So. I might be able to get a full photo with the whole mountain in. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Making my way to Dawson Falls. You can walk here from the visitor centre. It'll take you about five minutes. Or you can come and park. It's like a little parking area. Um, but I wasn't sure 
there was going to be parking spots, so I just walked. And walking is good for you. So this is going to be a very, very boring vlog. I didn't really do much today except go and see Dawson Falls waterfall and the Wilkie's pools. Um, it was absolutely gorgeous. The waterfall is definitely worth going to because it's not a it's not a long walk to the falls. It's probably about a 10, 15 minute walk from the visitor center. And definitely make sure you go and see the viewpoint, which is probably about a two minute walk from the actual falls trail. Now I wasn't lucky with the sun, but on my final day, I finally got to see the mountain on such a clear, beautiful day. Like, look at that. It was absolutely gorgeous. This is at Kent Road, and I do recommend if you go here to make sure you go early in the morning and also to make sure that you are parked right off the road because it is a 100 km hour road and it is quite unsafe. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I did and that is going to conclude this vlog, guys. Like always, if you like my videos, make sure you click the subscribe button and the like button and I'll see you guys all in the next one.